Hey fellow tennis nerds, welcome to the Wilson Clash version 2 racket review. This is the update to the best-selling Wilson line that they pushed as kind of control oriented. I would say this is comfort oriented. It's all about comfort. It's a very low flex, meaning the racket bends a lot. There's a lot of string movement going on. It's very arm friendly. So any kind of tennis elbow sufferers out there give the clash a try it's not for everyone it has a very unique feeling in the string bed a little bit of a trampoline effect can be difficult to control for some but it's kind of a lifesaver for other players so it's a little bit of that racket that you need to test before you buy it that's what i tell everyone in tennis you can always buy a racket and then sell it or trade it so uh, it's not a huge investment and you usually get some some decent money back when you sell a lightly used racket but it's definitely one that you if you can give it a try. So the Clash version 2, what's new? I got four different new Clash versions to test. The 100 Pro, the 100, which is kind of the most popular model, the 98 for more advanced players, and the 108 for beginners, lower level, intermediate, maybe veteran players that don't have kind of full swings, a little bit more hitting with the arm. Uh, the 108 will give you lots of power, lots of spin, big head size, a lot of forgiveness. They have this uh, interesting cosmetic that follows the path of the Blade version 8. Uh, this time it's red, kind of Christmassy, uh, looks really nice, uh, cherry uh, style red with um, this kind of color shifting uh, ingredient that they use for the Blade version 8. So uh, most players, judging from my Instagram posts about the Clash and and Patreon and stuff really enjoy the design. I think it's a definite improvement. There's nothing new in the mold. The mold is the same from what I can see. Uh, so there are no big differences in the beam width or anything like that. That's all the same. The thing that's new in the layup, and the layup is what's inside the racket. If it has dampening and so on, it has something called 45, uh, 45 braid, and that's what they used for the Wilson. I'm gonna read uh, what the point of the 45 braid technology is. In addition to increasing stability, it helps the racket bend in ways that complement the modern game. So it's a technology to create a better feel from the frame. That's uh, as far as I understand. And there are a few things that I notice are different. Uh, when you add the 45, uh, it is even more plush, even more muted, very dampened feel of this frame. It feels like hitting with a pillow. Some players will love that, some players will hate it. Generally, from my experience, is that more advanced players don't like hitting with a pillow because they don't know where the ball is going. Uh, while more, um, you know, intermediate players, they, they maybe care more about that nice soft impact and not so much about precision and, and knowing the ball exactly. They would uh, enjoy this feel. So uh, for sure, uh, an improvement, a bit of an, a refinement in feel, uh, I would say, but it might not be everyone's cup of tea. It always depends, you know, it's a very personal thing, a tennis racket. So, uh, but this is what's new in the whole layup. There are also two new things for two of the rackets. So the Clash 98, which is the more advanced player frame, and the Clash Pro, which has more power than the 98, but is also more weight and swing weight. That now has a 1620 pattern instead of the 1619. And the difference uh, of adding that extra cross string is that you get a little bit more control, a little bit more directional control on flatter shots. I still feel like it's not uh, quite enough to feel 100% confident in your shots. That's my main um, downside with these frames, always was with the Clash, is that you know you feel like the, there's a little bit too much trampoline in the string bed. String life is a little bit reduced because there's so much movement of the strings. But if you value comfort and you hit with bigger targets, you will overlook this, you will be fine. But for me, hitting a flatter ball and for other players maybe who, who really value precision, uh, it might be a big downside. The Clash 98, also 16-20 pattern, which will give it a little bit more control, still feel that uh, they are quite similar in the way they produce a ball, both the Clash 98 version 1 and version 2. The differences are there. I think the feeling is more strongly felt than the addition of this cross string for two of the models. Uh, but it definitely feels a bit more refined. It feels like a slight update, not something huge in my opinion. I have seen other people think it's a little bit of a bigger change than I feel, but I, I still struggle somewhat with the control. That's the main downside of this frame. The Clash 98 is for the most advanced players. You get more control from the smaller head size. Uh, you get better directional 
uh, control as well from the tighter string bed. I don't think it's a huge difference in control from the previous version, but still uh, a decent frame if you like. A spin friendly, very plush and arm friendly response, but more controlled than the other Clash rackets. So this is the one that I would recommend to pretty much all advanced players who want to try the Clash, who want to use a very arm friendly frame. Uh, so uh, I like the Clash 98. I'm not sure if I prefer it from the Clash 98 previous edition that I actually have been using from time to time in my custom paint job. Uh, so I'm not sure if for me it's much of an improvement, but I think for many players they will feel a little bit more plushness, a little bit even softer feel than the previous version. I think that was the main difference. Some might enjoy a little bit more control from the 1620 over the 1619 pattern, but I didn't notice a huge difference in how the ball uh, sales of the string bed. That's my opinion. Clutch 100 Pro, a little bit better control than the previous version. Uh, string life still seems to be an issue. Uh, this one is quite powerful, so you will get a lot of pop on your shots. And if you want power in an arm friendly package, the 100 Pro is a good choice. It's very headlight, so even those extra 10 grams of the 100 Pro will not be an issue for most players who, um, who have a decent swing and decent technique. The Clutch 100. Very similar to the previous version, a little bit softer, a little bit more like a pillow, uh, better looking obviously, so a, a good update for, for most Clash users, I would say, to go to the Clash 100. The Clash 100 is definitely the best selling frame, the one that can be used by most players, um, even beginners, uh, very low swing weight, I think around measured around 307, strung with a poly 130 gauge. This was the um, Grapple Snake Tour M8. I feel for me that the, the Clash rackets work better with uh, a quite stiff poly to, to mitigate some of that stiffness, to, to kind of balance out some of that softness from the frame. I think if you get a little bit crisper response, more of a balanced feel. But if you like a pillow, if you like that ultra soft response, you can string him with a soft polyester or even a multi-filament. But I think most players get more out of the Clash with uh, polyester, but you can string it at a, a little bit lower tension if you have arm issues. But these are very arm friendly frames. So the Clash 100 will be the best seller. It's the frame that has the biggest appeal and it's a slight improvement from the previous version uh, in, in its feel, for sure. The Clash 108, good stick for um, beginners, lower level intermediates, you want maximum help from the frame. If you have a lot of miss hits, you maybe have a shorter stroke, you're working on that, uh, the Clash 108 is, is going to help you with comfort. For many of you who suffer from tennis elbow or, or these shoulder problems, this is a pretty light, maneuverable, comfortable frame, so it's easy to recommend to, um, to beginners and, and lower level intermediates. Most other players above that uh, level, they will still struggle with the control of the 108, uh, which, is, which is very springy, a lot of happening in the string bed. So, pros and cons of the Clash version 2. It's pretty much all there, power, comfort, spin potential, that's all good. The downside is control, the, the feeling of the string bed, it's a trampoline in many cases. And unless you're using the 98 with a pretty controlled polyester, I think most advanced players will struggle to control the Clash rackets. But for pretty much anyone like lower level intermediate to upper level intermediate who hit with bigger targets, you hit with a lot of top spin, uh, then these rackets are excellent. I think they're, they're great, arm friendly. I, I really enjoyed them when they came out. I think having a brand uh, as popular as Wilson really push an arm friendly racket is, is a good step in the right direction. And you can still get good power and spin with this kind of frame. But it is a bit of a trampoline. It might not be for everyone. And that's why I recommend you to always demo before if you can. Uh, it's always the recommended approach. Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, they have a demo program, so you can use that. You maybe have other retailers you use, uh, try to get a demo. And most tennis clubs, tennis shops will have some new Clash rackets, I think, so you can try them there. So to summarize and give my verdict, this is a slight improvement. I wouldn't say it's, a, it's a, like a jaw-dropping difference from the first version. It feels softer. The Braid 45 certainly softens the response. Feels like maybe the sweet spot is a bit bigger, uh, thanks to that but a little bit too much of a pillow response for me. I, I feel like I don't really know where the ball is going. That's my opinion. I think for many players this will be a, you know, a thumbs up. Uh, I think that's the general perception of this frame. The design is much better. And I think that it was, it was a good idea to, to do a 1620. I would probably have preferred 1820 in the 98 if I could have asked for anything, but you know, uh, we're all different. So I think this will still have a very wide appeal and they will sell a bunch load of Clash rackets.
So good update, but nothing outrageous, nothing that will blow your head off if you like the previous clash. That's all for this Tennis Nerd review. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please subscribe on Patreon, patreon.com slash tennis nerd, or check out my affiliates. The links are in the description. And for example, play your court where you can find coaches and hitting partners near you. Great service. And the Swing Vision, Top Court, these uh, great partners are all there in the description. Please check them out via my links. That is all for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.